thing that we are very fortunate to have in our country, and you probably have talked about it in your classrooms, if not, you will in the next coming days, I'm sure, is the privilege that we have to know the peaceful transition of power in our country from one president to the next, from one political party to the next, from liberal to conservative to liberal. And our job here at the White House Historical Association is to work with the president no matter who the president is. We were created by Mrs. Kennedy, who was the wife of President John F. Kennedy, and she was a very young first lady. She was only 32 years old, if you could believe that, when she was first lady of the United States. And she knew that what the White House needed then, they would need over the course of time, and that would be, a, have, would be to have a private partner to come alongside the White House and give financial resources to keep the White House like a museum that beautiful quality of rooms and beautiful um, furnishings that we enjoy there today because if you're going to have the most of the nation's most important visitors, you need to have the house looking its very best with beautiful American furnishings and art. So that's what we help to do. We provide private money. We're not government funded at all. We're that private partner to the White House to do these wonderful things. And another thing that we do as part of that is education. We teach and tell the stories of White House history going back over 216 years. George Washington selected the site of the White House. John Adams, our second president, was the first president to move in 1800. Over 216 years, we now have 43 presidents to live and we soon have our 45th, uh, our 44th of 45 presidents to actually live in the White House. And so after uh, our talk today, one of the things we also do is we publish books as part of our education program, and this is one of them. It's called The Living White House, and it takes you through the White House, not only the rooms of the building, but the people who have created this place that we have known throughout history, throughout our American history. And I'm going to send a copy of this, Ms. Vance, for all of you, so that each of you can have a copy of this book. And I hope that what we talk about today will deepen your interest and cause you to want to know more about the White House and can study this book. And who knows, in a few years, you have to be 35 years old to be elected president. In a few years, one of you could be living right across the street, be president or first lady or first boss. Uh, so in our country, anything is possible. And if you can dream it and believe it, then it can happen. And uh, there are a lot of men and women who lived and worked right across the street that never knew a horse that would get them. I went to, when I went to school in Birmingham, I never dreamed that I would be working right here across the street from the White House, but here I am.